Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching The Boys Season 3, Episode 1. We are on the Season 3 of The Boys. Pretty exciting stuff. We're almost done with it, which is kind of sad, but aren't they making a Season 4? I'm pretty sure that's in the works right now, but it's going to be some time before it comes out, so... Oh yeah, my candles. There we go. And you can't even see it in the frame. Nice. Well, it's late, so. The last episode. Unfortunately, we lost Becca. Becca has passed away. Well, no, she got murdered by her own son, Ryan. It's kind of funny how she was trying so hard to protect Ryan, and he ends up being the one that kills her. You know, well, he didn't, like, kill her on purpose, you know? He's trying to kill Stormfront because Stormfront was attacking Becca. And, you know, he's not really in control of his powers. Like, he can only really use it when he gets super pissed off. And, like, yeah, his mom being in danger, you know, that triggered it. And then he can't he can't control them yet. And it ended up killing Becca, too. So that's that's really sad. And I was wondering what would happen to him afterwards. Like, Vought would still want him. So it's like, what what's Butcher going to do? Is Butcher going to look after him now? Is he going to become part of the boys? No, he's going with Mallory now. And, yes, Vought is still after him. Mallory did say that, so okay okay and then ryan also well, okay he fucked up stormfront stormfront pretty bad it didn't it didn't show her dying during uh after that scene homelander was like we're holding stormfront in this undisclosed location right so I, she's probably alive but i really hope she i hope she does not recover at all i hope she's just a shell of herself she literally got anakin skywalker like she got burnt alive and her limbs were cut off Okay, I swear to God, if they put her in a fucking Darth Vader costume, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. I never wanna see that bitch again, but she'll probably be back, so. And then at the very end of season two, Huey got a job, right? He wants to fight Bot, but he wants to do it in the right way, I guess. It's just a constant losing battle because Bot, they're going to cheat. They're going to, and they literally are. They have a spy in Dixie D'Amelio, so I guess Huey hasn't learned. Like against Vought, you have to you have to play dirty. You have to be violent. And so, he joined Dixie D'Amelio, and uh, we found out that she is the one. She is a soup actually, and she is the one exploding people's heads. It, that's basically her power. I thought everyone had a bomb in their head, and it's like oh, someone is triggering it whenever they say the wrong thing, which was right, but there was no bomb in their head, which makes sense because Dixie was basically there every single time someone's head got exploded except for reyna but that means dixie was probably in the vicinity she just wasn't on screen i don't remember if she was in that scene or not i'm pretty sure she wasn't she might have been though but yes she is the one doing it and now huey has joined her so it's funny because i you know that pretty much means she works for bot but she's working on the other side against bot but now she can manipulate things in her in bot's favor because she's working with the rebels essentially you know people who are against Vought, and now it's just like, alright, well, Huey has no idea what he got himself into, so, but anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time, we're just gonna hop right into this episode, if you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon, as well, early access to the next two episodes of The Boys will also be available on Patreon, so, let's get started. Oh, uh, this is the fucking movie they're making. I knew you'd be here. <laughs> It's funny because Hoaglander's a bad actor, but the guy who plays him is a great actor. That is not Stormfront. Oh my, no, they had the recaster. Join me and we can reign together. You know, this is actually better too because, you know, Stormfront in uh, real life is actually, she's busted as fuck and this girl's actually pretty, so this is better for the movie. Wait, is this still technically the first movie they've been working on? What? Can't let you guys have all the fun. Yeah, okay, he's back. This is the first movie. Damn, they had to change the script so many fucking times. Nazi bitch. <laughs> wait, wait, that's a fucking meme. That is that the meme of Homelander? Yeah, that's the meme. I, I, I'll... yes. <laughs> yeah, I see, I've seen that meme a million times on Twitter. Like, it's out of context, so I don't know what's going on, but. <laughs> It's so fucking, it's always funny every time I see it. Be ...or at least dumping it on Vought Plus, but the, the fans spoke with those release the board cut hashtags you got. 
Oh my god, is that a thing at the- is that a fucking reference to the Snyder Cut with the Justice League? That has to be. Oh, okay, they're dating publicly now. Which... <laughs> Damn, wait, why is Huey taller? Taller than Homelander. Is Homelander a short king? Or is he like fucking 5'7", five, 5'6"? Seven, five, <laughs> Was that like a soccer? Like a crazy ex. You mean my man. Love the big dick energy, bro. <laughs> Good. I didn't give a fuck. Oh my god. Everything we've been through, we'd be here together. The thought. <laughs> Not me, huh? Meet the real me. <laughs> Wait, he says like a side. What the fuck is going on? Ashley! <laughs> She's fucking the director. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah. Go oh my god, bro, how hard are you? Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a saw, brother. Uh, All right, thanks for coming. Yeah, I was going to say, whole manager looked like a goddamn fucking sociopath. Well, he is, but like his eyes were just like this when he said that into the camera. Fool looks like he was on fucking coke. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Put her. Why are you guys sneak up on me like that, bro? Um, I'll talk to Newman. Oh, you can nah, take bro. your tongue out of nah. your ass. You don't need to go get approval, Huey. You just gotta no do violence, it. or maiming, or or, or, or torture. Or All right, but but just killing him. He's dead. Why is he buying that for Ryan? <laughs> a doll what the oh he's a oh he's a he's ant-man okay do you think ant-man's ever done that wait, wait. she could talk or she can't talk but she could fucking sing all right I feel like she's not the one singing. oh okay 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 that was in her head she wants to be able to do that, but she can't. Okay. They got me. No, I'm gonna lie, they got me. So I guess they're after Ant-Man. And that's the guy they're after. I want you inside me. Oh, he's gonna shrink down and actually get, literally get inside him. Oh my God, bro. I can't show this on YouTube. <laughs> Okay. 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 Well, if he starts peeing right now. <laughs> but what if he nuts and just gets shot out of it? No, 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 no. That's gonna make him nut, and then it's gonna shoot him out. Oh! I was wrong about what I thought was gonna happen. Okay. Wait! You can't leave. Why? Because he saw. Oh yeah, where the fuck is that game? Soon? <laughs> He's trying to get in my ass. Get him out! He's like, he's like. Bro, is he gonna crawl up his ass and then just get big again? You know, that's what everyone said. Ant Man should do to fucking Thanos. <sighs> fucking bitch! I feel like that one to hurt because he's so tiny. I don't know. Maybe it's like the same force as like a regular size bite. <laughs> He seems like he has the strength of a regular human, like a fully sized human, so. <gasps> oh, <clears throat> gotcha. Oh, Butcher came in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Have a bump. Yeah, oh, and he's ODing. <laughs> cool the bureau. Ah, oh, no. You gotta do it the right way. For Huey. Jimmy Cricket's so <laughs> deep. You know, if you were that tiny, yeah, you could just take the littlest amount of coke, and then it would hit you just as hard as a regular dose would, but you're literally using not even, like, half a percent of a regular line. In theory. Don't do coke, Okay. Don't do coke. That shit's disgusting. I'm talking to you, Becky, okay? I mean, that makes sense, so... 
Like, he got, like, a mouthful. But it was literally such a small amount, and it made him OD, because, yeah, it does affect him. Relative to how big he is, so. Don't know. It depends. Um, you're going to bring. <laughs> <laughs> and he's dating Starlight. Yep. Uh, Huey's his idol. The guy looks up to Huey. Don't, no, don't give me that face. I'll bet you a crisp hundred dollar bill something got fucked up. You don't know? Nah, we did it right. Butcher did it right. I'm, I'm not gonna take the bet. But uh, he doesn't have faith in Butcher. No question. But we're in peacetime. Are we, though? No, we're there's a silent war going on. Herpes. Right. I feel like she's, I feel like she's subtly flirting with Huey. She's definitely gonna get in the way of him and Starlight, and I don't want to see that. Can I help you? I'm just waiting to see Nadia. Yeah, that guy was at the premiere, too. Congresswoman Victoria Newman, you have the wrong person. I will give her the message. This way, pal. So he thinks she's someone else. Hmm. Tony, she'll remember. Yeah, okay, he was catching on. She must have changed her identity and shit. He remembers her from a different time. Yeah, he's catching on. Poor <laughs> boy. Uh, and Mallory's watching him. All right, so Mallory, I guess, like, just pretty much adopted him. You know, that could, that could actually be good for her because her grandson, her grandchildren were killed by a lamp lighter. And so now Ryan can kind of replace that and give her that happiness again. Same one. You're dead. This time he everything down and then kills me. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'd probably have fucking nightmares about a homeland or two. <laughs> you cheeky little blighter. <laughs> Good for a butcher, spending quality time with his son. Not his son, his stepson. I shouldn't get too close to him. I'll just fuck it up. I hear you've been on the street. Mm -hmm. even followed Hugh Campbell's orders without strangling him. Now you're just being cruel. I know you're not doing all that for yourself. So then who? For Becca and Ryan. That alone makes you a better man than your father ever was. Yep. And that's right, Mother's Milk is, he went back to his family, so I guess he's, he's out of it. He's just living a good life now with his family. Good for him. Happy for him. But we need him back, I miss him already. Oh, did you see that profile that Malcolm Gladwell did on me in The New Yorker? He called me the next Leia Remini. Oh, his hair's growing back. Deep, you gotta shut the fuck up. He does, he does not want to talk to you. Should never go before you, obviously. I'm a nobody compared Bro, to that hurts Homelander's ego so much. Like, a fucking narcissistic. <laughs> Look, I, I'm not perfect, Cameron. Far from it. Yeah. Oh, we know that. God. How fast he went from a smile to just a straight face. It's the birthday girl! Mother's milk! Marvin. It's okay. Say, um, happy birthday, Jenny. Yeah, I like his new hair. Oh, he wants to stay out of the photos. And Wait, oh, is that the stepdad? I think that might be, so he just feels awkward. Co-parenting things? Mm, Co-parenting things. Yeah. Really? Where we had our first date. Oh, it was a good try. You gotta move on, Marvin. Oh, yeah. Damn. But that hurts to hear. Trust me, I've heard that too. Like, yeah, that's the worst thing. That's a lot. That's the worst thing they could tell you. Gives mm. a soldier 24 hours of powers. Give Damn. or take. Okay, so it's... Alright, so it's temporary compound V. The OD has to keep buying doses. Yep. And how much a hit? Two million. <gasps> For the course of a month-long operation, that's 60 million per soldier. 600 million per... Yep. They're selling it to the military, wow. Oh no. Dang, so now I feel extra safe. A daycare dealing with spoiled children and dead prostitutes. But the Damn, point is... All right. He wants to make it pharmaceutical, not... Wow. ...strings that I can pull in Congress. Mm. Her, yep. Yep, her. I was about to say Dixie, and then it just cut right to her. I saw the table. What? Vought just closed a big endorsement for him with Terminex. We've been chasing Ter Wow, okay. That's great. Trust me. I can't trust you. 
picked up more soups this year than every other year combined. Then you're a fucking yeah. twit. Huey, you're working with Vaughn. I'm... Yeah, push your nose. Push your season right through it. Look, things are good. We're actually winning. That's what you think. That's what you think. I'm sorry that I left. You think I give a shit? Yeah, I think you do. I think he does. Then M.M. and I both left. M.M. Yes. was a bit of a loss. You... Also. Damn. Let's try to flex. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Butcher's so pissed. Oh. Still has that. They never did anything with that, so. Hmm. Butcher, is he gonna release it? I hope he does. Great. Oh. <laughs> you have to walk in front of her like that. Whoa, what are you doing? Why are you. What? Why the board wants to make you co captain of the seven. Mmm. Promotion. Double digits. The public still associates you with Stone. Oh, Homelander's. He's tweaking. He, his brain is fucking working overtime to process what he just heard. To keep discussing this. Absolutely. Set a time with Samantha and we'll get you in. <laughs> it's disrespecting him. Put Homelander in his place. Good. I like Stan. Excellent. Well, my schedule is pretty full, but I'll try and find you a window. All right, then we'll never talk about it. Cool. <laughs> the way he fucking looked back. As long as I am CEO of Vought, he's under control. And we both know why. Because I fucking put him in check. Power. You should think about it. Mm, but she knows how pissed Homelander is going to be. I th uh, like it's a great position for her, but still, it's like I mean, Homelander already kind of hates her, so like, fuck it, just do it, just do it already. Well, they say he's on uh, sabbatical. No, he's dead. Star on the case for Christ circuit. What? All right, she's got shoes. Who's the next? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's gonna get in the way of them. You know what? I feel like Starlight and this guy Supersonic, they're gonna start to like each other more, and then Huey's gonna feel kind, like reject Dixie at first, but then he's gonna see their relationship get a little stronger, and like their dynamic grow, and then it's it's gonna kind of push him away, and then he's gonna go to Dixie, and then she's gonna cross him hella hard. I'm calling her right now. Shut it's up. It's true. Shut up. But he has, and he's gonna, then he was gonna go to Dixie because she's showing him more affection than Starlight is. And calling it now. Oh, uh, yeah, see, see, Huey feels threatened. That's why he had to put his hand around her shoulder. Not threatened, like, for safety, but, like, threatened that he's gonna take her from him. I had no idea you drank back then. Oh, yeah. Miss Kitty. And he's, like, letting, Huey's letting him know, like, hey, this is my girl by doing that, too. Little so close just really really great no it's not nothing to worry about do i oh he's he's just a friend well, I, okay you know took your virginity so why would i work oh, you know what it happened so long ago oh, yeah. only a couple of times Huey yeah. and star are gonna break up and they're getting together and for sure now for sure i mean sex sex we did a ton of butt stuff oh for sure for sure I'm fucking with you. <laughs> it's not funny. And I could make trouble at Vought, do some real good. Or Homelander could murder you. Someone. Yes. Stand up to this guy. And that has to be you. Not just me. I mean, I could. Bro, Stan's doing a pretty good job. You could help me. Wait, you mean like your boyfriend? Ooh, he. Ah. Damn. They got. They're breaking up. I'm. Yes, hundred percent. They're breaking up. <laughs> He's so pissed. His tooth got pushed back. You know, like his two front teeth, the one on the side, it got pushed back, I noticed. It, was, it wasn't like that last season. Shake Shack? Oh. In and out's better than Shake Shack. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it is. Don't even argue. Shake Shack's still fire, though. Guess you wanted to cram in as much fat fuck as possible, huh? What? 
You know, I need 30,000 calories a day. Maybe when you damn. actually ran, you did. Oh, yeah. But now, oh, what a fucking joke. God damn, that's... Yeah, what did you say? Him. Oh, <laughs> you heard that? You heard that? You heard that? Nothing. Nothing? Uh, 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 what did you oh, say to me? I'm oh. sorry. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Say it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, he just fucking tweaked on him. Oh, oh, and they saw it. Yeah, we got, we got to leak that video. We got to leak it right now. Oh, she texted. We need to meet, send that to Busher because he has the video. Yeah, Homelander's fucking out of control, dude. He's so pissed about the co-captain thing. He just took his anger out on A-Train right there. But okay, technically, like, when he went to go grab A-Train, who is, oh, this fucking bitch. This fucking bitch. Fuck you. But when he went to go grab A Train's at the back of his head, A Train's so fast, he could have just slipped it. And, like, you know, I mean, I guess he didn't because he didn't expect it, but still. In theory, if he fought Homelander, Homelander should have never touched him once. Unless he does that because he's too fucking fast to even touch. Like, a unless Homelander has super speed to, to match it, which I don't think he does, you know, couldn't A Train just fucking punch him a million times before? you know, in super speed before he can even do anything about it. Unless Homelander just in anticipates where he's going to be and grabs him, you know, like that shit. I don't know. Just a thought. After month, they took my son from me. Bro, what are you doing? No. They should be worshipping me. Trim. <laughs> What? No. No. No, no! How many times do I have to tell you we don't need a fucking master race? I'm the master race. <laughs> <laughs> Took a hundred years, but we finally found you. It's your... No, shut up, bitch. Just, uh, rest. But he just nut in her hand and then just leave it? Please! No, fuck you. She's, she's so pathetic. I love it. I heard Termite walked. My lead was good. Oh, it's me. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, she gave him the lead. It's corrupt. That's what happened. So, okay, she's working with Butcher. Wow. It's great. I love that. Hmm. Soldier boy. So what? Remember how he died? Stopping the okay. nuclear melt. Weapon or whatever it is. Maybe we can use it to blow Homelander's fucking brains out. Yes. What well, a bunch of fucking wingers. We'll see. <laughs> when the seven pass them as the number one super team. Oh. Oh shit. You'll need that. Fuck holes, but they're strong. And they're dangerous. Yeah, you kind of need them. Damn. Alright, so Bush is about to give himself powers. I wonder what his powers are going to be, though. This is our best chance to kill Homelander. Mm -hmm. Don't fuck it up. I guess I can't, like, technically release the video of him on the plane because, like he said, he'll go fucking AWOL and kill all of them if he does that. But then Maeve countered it with, like, well, then at least the public would see what a monster you are. But, like, still. You gotta kill him behind the scenes. Why are you dumping it, on, why are you dumping it down the sink, buddy? He doesn't give a shit. He doesn't even want to... I mean, he doesn't trust it, probably. And plus, yeah, why would he want to turn into a soup? But, I mean, she said he needs them. Oh, shit. Homelander's here. May I come in? Are you going to kill me? He's at 673. Nosh my bollocks have. <laughs> you know, I could just pull you apart limb by limb. Which is not even phased. The more always goes into shock. You've got to start small. Fingers, toenails, ears. That's what the Joker said. Well, if you kill me, you'll never know. So you can't kill me. Cause then you'll, yeah, you need me alive to, for me to tell you the information. Where's the sport in that? <laughs> and then they go and make Starlight co-captain. Uh. Touche, William. Yep. What are you doing here? She just wants to talk. Just a vent, imagine. Walked. 
Mm, yep. Fucking bureau. Yep, see, he just wants to vent. You and me? Well, they treat us like old playthings and put us up on the fucking shelf. <laughs> it does. No, are they gonna team up? Too fucking right. Alright. Guess they're teaming up now. Oh shit. Yeah, he's still working on it. He's still he's looking for Soldier Boy. And the last team that Queen Maeve already mentioned, uh, Butcher, damn, he's still, he's working on it then. Watch, he was gonna save her and they're gonna have a roommate, like an intimate moment. Oh no, no, she's gonna kill him, she's gonna kill him. His nose, his head's gonna explode. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, he's a soup too. Oh, she blew his hand up. Oh shit! Now he we saw uh, he we saw that and he realized. Yeah. Oh. oh! Why'd you have to come looking for me? Yeah. Uh, well, she's trying to hide something that happened a while ago, and he was about to, ex you know, expose it, say what happened, I guess, and she can't have that because it's her past life. Mm, that fucking scared me. Oh, that's just a uh, shower of blood. Alleyway. East 12th and Broadway. What, to clean up everything? Fuck, and now Huey knows, though. Alright, well, there goes their chance of ever liking each other. Because... <sighs> I, I kind of said that, assuming Huey wasn't going to know. Until, like, the last moment, and then... Like, he would start the like her already. Why is this... Like, he was going to start the like her and get feelings for her as he was drifting away from Starlight. And then he finds out she's a soup, you know, and finds out what she's really up to and shit, so... All right, so that was The Boys, Season 3, Episode 1. All right, pretty strong season opener. I like where we're at in it, you know, Huey's... Huey's trying to just do the right thing, do it by the book, you know, trying to do everything peacefully. And yeah, it seemed like Dixie was kind of you know playing into that like huey we need to get i'm gonna call him ant-man whatever so they're like yeah we need the like we caught ant-man but we need to send him back because he has like a deal like a brand deal or some bullshit like that and Vaughn was like hey please we need this so they just saved his ass right and huey was like what no we can't do that blah, blah. like huey wants the he wants justice but Dixie's not gonna let him do it because she secretly is working for Vought. And like Butcher saw right through it. Like literally he said like, yeah, well they're working with Vought, bro. Like he literally told Huey that. Like, Butcher sees right through it. He's no dummy. He's not naive. So, and then Starlight became co-captain of the Seven. You know, like obviously that's gonna piss off Homelander a lot. And she kind of didn't want to step on his toes like that because obviously she's afraid of Homelander. And she was like, yeah, I don't really know how I feel about that. But then she kind of, you know, convinced herself to do it, which is good for her. It's a great move. But, I mean, like, Homelander already kind of hates her. They're already kind of enemies. So it's like, well, you're not really, like, nothing really changed, honestly. He just hates you a little bit more. He just feels a little bit more disrespected. I think Stan did that because he's just like, fuck Homelander. I need to check his ass. I need to just put him in his place. And Stan's really good at doing that. And it's, it's fucking hilarious. And it bothered Homelander so much. He went to Butcher to go see if he can, they can become allies. Because I guess they have the same agenda now. Because like, you know, Butcher wants to take down Vought. And so does Homelander now, I guess. Well, I don't think Homelander does. He still wants to be the star. But he wants, he just wants the attention back on him, you know. So I'm excited to see where that goes. And then Queen Maeve came to Butcher and she was like, look at this, look at this case. We got a guy named Soldier Boy in there and he used to, he used to be part of this other superhero team, but I guess Soldier Boy died, but they were kind of hinting at like, okay, did he actually die? I'm not sure, but I'm going to be completely honest. I have seen the memes of him. I know who he is. So I know he's alive, I, but that's all I know about him. So I've seen people talk about Soldier Boy, the hero, and the and the boys on Twitter. So it's like, okay, I know he's alive. So got a little, a little minor spoiler, not too bad. But but then Maeve gave him the temporary compound B that, you know, she was like, you're probably gonna need this because in order to get to them, they're very powerful people and they might try and kill you. So you might want to take this. But I don't think Butcher has an interest in taking them because. 
Of course, he hates the soups, so he's like, nah, I'll do it without it, and you put it in the cookie jar. I don't know, I can't, I don't see Butcher being able to take it. Like, it's, even though it's only temporary, it's like, he, I don't, I don't think, he might, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm like 70, 30 on it, like, 70% he won't, 30% he will, so, we'll see. I mean, he might try and do it without it, then realize, oh, fuck, I need it, and then take it hella quick, so. And then at the end, uh, Huey... I guess he found he caught Dixie D'Amelio Newman that she's actually a soup because she killed that guy and she ex his head fucking exploded like they were both superheroes and he was talking to her about like oh we need to exploit we need to expose what happened you know and she's like, but then she was like look I'm not that person anymore you know so it kind of makes me want to know what happened every, everything that happened prior I kind of want to know but obviously Tony that guy he was gonna get in the way of what she's trying to do now so she so she killed him so. And then Huey saw everything right there, so he knows who she really is and stuff. I mean, he uh, he doesn't have the full context. He doesn't have the full story behind it. So, um, like, as far as I think, I think he just knows that she's a soup and that's it. So, I think he's gonna... I mean, he might try and press her about it and be like, what the fuck is that about, you know? And then she's probably gonna talk her way out of it. I don't know. I'm just trying to make an excuse for the the storyline of Starlight and Huey breaking up and then they go and see the other people like Starlight goes and sees Supersonic and then Huey starts to like um, Dixie D'Amelio a little bit more and then he finds out who she's working for because he doesn't know that yet but I mean like obviously like this kind of gives it away so we'll, we'll see what conclusion Huey comes to but anyways that was The Boys season 3 episode 1 comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching